So well, Edmonds been a bit a bit. I bet that took nine months to get turned around and get back in the cage again. Was that uh, was that good for you to have a little time off, or was it was it frustrating not get right back in there? Uh, no, it was definitely good for me. You know, I made a lot of improvements in my training, and uh, I'm, I'm young. I'm improving, so that time for me was good, and I made a lot of adjustments and. Yeah, I've just been getting better. Of course, I would have wanted to probably compete in. I was trying to get back in there around like uh, February, March, but uh, this ended up happening and I wanted this challenge, so I took it. Very nice. That's a very mature way of handling everything and the right attitude, but I got to admit, or I got to ask, I would say, right after the loss, were you able to accept it that way or was it, was it difficult right after? No, yeah, after the loss, I was definitely able to accept it, you know, and uh, I knew my mistakes right after. I was just, just talking about it, uh, like not chasing for the, right after I came back to my hotel, I'm like, why was I chasing for the finish? Why was I looking for one shot to put him out, you know? Like, if I'm calculated in there, if I'm more relaxed, my precision is good, and uh, I just need to connect on the guys, and eventually they'll fall. But um, as long as I'm relaxing there, and I, my game will be a lot better, and, and I won't get gassed out chasing for a finish, and I won't have an adrenaline dump. Nice. As you said, man, a challenging matchup. When they came to you with this name, uh, I mean, they're not giving you any kind of rebound fight. Like, yeah. hey, just go kind of warm up a little bit. You know, did, did that excite you? or you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I wanted this fight, you know. I, I wanted this fight, and... Um, that's what I was saying. I, I like challenges. I like these th these type of challenges motivate me. And I know he's a, he's, he's a good fighter. He's been at the top for a while now. So um, it's a motivating fight for me. And I, I'm, I'm improving. I'm young. I'm improving. So it's another great fight for me to get back into the top contenders. I'm just excited for it. I, I've been working really hard. It's been a really, really tough camp. And I'm excited to go out there and put on a great performance. And, you know, Jack's a good opponent. He's a, he's a good challenge, and I'm ready to take on that challenge and show why I'm the best. They get one week uh, change. Does that cause any complications? I mean, I think, you know, you build training camps around peaking right at the right time. Does a one week delay, does it, does it cause anything? No, not really. Uh, I, everything was on point. My weight and everything was good to go. Uh, it's just I had to keep a flow that week, keep, keep a little sweat going, and just keep sharp, speed. That, that's pretty much it, you know. Uh, of course, we're not going to have the fans, but Vegas, Vegas is open again with no masks, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> Afterwards, you have a little fun? Oh, yeah, yeah, in Vegas, you know, we'll have a good time. But first and foremost, the fight. Very nice. So when you talk about it, you know, it, it doesn't seem like you're talking about that you felt like you lacked skills at all, but it, more just like a mental approach. Was that it? Was it like a focus or a strategy during the fight? Is that kind of the biggest yeah, adjustment? Yeah. Um, I think I kind of lost focus because I was hitting him with shots and I'm like, oh, he's not going down, he's not going down, and like, I'm not connecting well, I'm not connecting well. Like, I was kind of like frustrated at that. And like, the, when, you, when you get frustrated in a fight, uh, it kind of like gets to you. And then the adrenaline too, I, I, like, I had like an adrenaline dump in there. So, and of course, skill improvements too. I, I worked out a lot on my wrestling, defense, jiu-jitsu work. I, I've just been improving constantly every day since that fight. And yeah, I, I had a good nine months, but nine months weren't off. Nine months were working, working and improvement. Is Derek a guy that you, you feel like you need to fight again at some point in your career? Like, does it I, stick in your head like that? Definitely, at some point in my career, I, I, I would love to run it back with him, you know? He, he's having a good run right now, you know, and uh, good for him, but in the future, for sure, we'll run it back. Yeah. When you look at Jack, I mean, are you expecting him to, to just want to grapple with you? Do you think he'll want to strike at all? I mean, uh, if you look at it on paper, I think he would want to grapple me. But I'll be ready for anything, you know, if he tries to mix it up with stand-up to grappling, if he tries to trick me that way. I'm ready for, for, for anything he tries to possess. Nice. You went here, it's a, it's a big win for you, right? So, I mean, do you feel, because I feel like you got this fast rise to the top and then a little bit of setback, but yeah. are, you, are you one to just continue that fast rise or do you think, hey, man, let me, let me keep developing, you know, slow step by step? Um, whatever happens, you know, uh, I'm, I'm just going to keep going out there and performing and getting a, vic uh, getting a victory, you know? That's all that matters, getting a win. And then after a win, we'll see, we'll see what happens with where the UFC wants to do and all that. Nice. I guess last thing for me, when you play this one out, I mean, do you feel like this is a type of fight where you can go do some of these highlight reels that you're capable of doing? Or is this like, 
man, this is kind of a veteran. This is going to be a grinding kind of battle. What kind of fight do you think we see? I'm ready for both. I'm ready for both. And just tune in Saturday because I'm in the best shape I've been in. And I'm ready to put on the show. You mentioned last week you would have been fighting in front in front of fans. Um, you won't be fighting in front of fans this week, obviously. Which do you prefer? Do you have a preference? Do you feel like you're a better fighter in front of fans? Um, I wouldn't say it changes my fighting inside the octagon, but obviously I would love fans. You know, I, I love the energy when you're walking out with the fans and like the roar of the crowd. But at the end of the day, when the cage door locks, the fans don't make a difference for me because I kind of zone out the fans whenever I'm in the cage and. I just hear like my coaches in corner.